One of the things that I enjoy most about the gacha subgenre is that every month there are new games to play, new games that are entering pre-registration phases or beta tests that are being held. August wasn't a bad month for new gacha games. I have a dedicated video on August's releases that I'll include at the end of this video if you want to make sure you didn't miss anything, but September looks fairly promising as well. Note, I will have links to each of these games down in the description below to pre-register, to sign up for closed betas, or to just download and play them. Before we go any further, I just want to take a moment here to thank all of the absolute chads and chadettes that support this channel via Patreon. You're all freaking legends. Seriously, each and every single one of you. I would offer to give each of you a kiss, but I suffer from severe intimacy issues. Additionally, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest MMO gotcha and gaming news, take a second here to follow Mrs. Six and I over on Twitter. We tweet daily. Now with that out of the way, let's take a moment here and see what September has in store for us. Arkland was announced back in June 2022 and featured a cinematic trailer for the game. Players were excited because the game featured gorgeous character models, stunning environments, and a type of turn-based strategic combat akin to Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem happens to be one of my favorite strategy games of all time, so this is a massive draw for me personally. Arkland currently has pre-registration open for the Korean launch of the game, with an expected release date sometime in 2023. A global release has not officially been confirmed for 2023, but it is speculated. Midgard Saga is a card-based RPG releasing this month. Pre-registration is currently open and available for players that are interested, and will be the first game released by Yeehaw Games. And a, a new, uh, I, I mean, they're not really a development studio. They, they call themselves a platform where games will be developed and published, allowing for players to use assets acquired in every game on the platform completely cross game, meaning what you earn in Midgard Saga you can effectively use in another gacha that happens to be published on the Yeehaw Games platform. Unfortunately, this is also a crypto game with NFTs also being present, as Yeehaw Games believe this is the future of the gacha genre. NFTs, crypto, play to earn, and shared assets across every game. Honestly, I would steer clear of this one, but at the same time, I know there's going to be plenty of people that aren't deterred by this. Neural Cloud is a brand new upcoming auto chess anime RPG set within the same universe as the popular girls frontline gacha game. Several trailers have been released for the game already, showcasing a variety of different waifus and damn do they look good. Pre-registration is currently open and available for the global version of the game. We're capable of seeing what pre-registration rewards are from 200k all the way up to 2 million, which admittedly is quite the grandiose number. At present, we're closing in on 300,000 pre-registered players, with more to come shortly, no doubt. I personally enjoyed Girls Frontline, so seeing a further expansion of their world of the Girls Frontline intellectual property sounds great to me. Nick A is an immersive shooter RPG with some of the most bodacious beauties to ever grace the gacha genre. Seriously, more players are going to play this for the waifus than those that will play it for any other reason. I had the pleasure of playing the most recent global close beta for the game, and admittedly I had an immense amount of fun. You can find my dedicated video on it as part of the worst gacha ever series on this channel, but I am beyond hyped to play this as it officially launches. Which might be sooner than expected, as a thread popped up over on Reddit in the last couple days with a link to the global pre-registration page. Multiple people confirmed that they had either seen or registered for the game before the page went down, but it looks as though global pre-registration is coming in the very immediate future, as Nikkei is slated to release fully within the next couple months. Quantum Maki is, uh, well, a unique amalgamation of genres, incorporating mechanics from a bullet hell title with a third person shooter and an action RPG like Punishing Grey Raven. Quantum Maki actually just released in the last few days within Japan and is already holding a collaboration with one of the greatest anime of all time, 
Code Geass, featuring Lelouch and Suzaku, along with two of our favorite anime waifus, C2 and Khan. And yeah, they're they're definitely, you know, filled out in all the right places. As the game just launched, there is unfortunately no option to pre-register for the game. There is no confirmed global release for the game currently in the works, but given time, and depending on the overall success of the game, that might change quite drastically. And that is pretty much everything, at least that I am currently aware of. I may have missed something, it's genuinely difficult keeping up to date with all of these games. If I did, you're more than welcome to leave a comment with what I missed, and I'll cover it in a dedicated video later this week. Again, I have links to all of these games in the description and the pinned comment below. Additionally, I urge you to check out last month's listing, which you can find either below or on screen right now, or here's a list of the most played gacha games this year, the gacha that everyone is playing.